In this video, we're going to learn about Fury apps. This is just an introduction video and in the upcoming videos, we'll learn in depth about the Fury apps. So the topics we're going to cover today, they are what is Fury app, uh, what problems we had with the ECC GUI and Fury design principles and also we'll talk about the types of the Fury applications. So let us first talk about what is Fury or Fury app. So Fury app is mainly when, for example, we use different type of applications on our, on our phone. So Fury is same thing. So to do any transaction, to run a report, everything is provided as a Fury app. So just like an app that you can run on either on a desktop, laptop, mobile phone or a tablet. So let me show you practically how it look like and then we'll talk more theory about the Fury apps. So this is the screen for the Fury app where you use the browser to get access to the different types of Fury apps. So each, these are called tiles. Each tile that you can see is a Fury app. For example, if I scroll down, there are some more Fury apps. And also on the top here, you can see the grouping. So these are the group. For example, if I see this drop down here, I can see the different groups and I can jump to any group here. For example, I want to go to say, um, supplier invoice processing group. So here within this group, there'll be one or more than one applications. So these are the different applications. For example, I can open any application. For example, I can click on create supplier invoice and I'm able to create the supplier invoice. Same way we have different applications to create a transaction, to, to create a master data or to run a report. So we'll talk more about it later on, but this is how uh, Fury apps look like. So let's understand some theory about the Fury apps. So SAP Fury is a user experience design approach and is a collection of the different apps that are that will provide you a consistent intuitive and a modern interface for the sap software the term fury is basically is an italian word that means flowers so it's coming from this italian word flowers fury it aims to simplify and enhance the user interaction with SAP systems such as SAP S4HANA and other SAP solutions by offering a role-based responsive and mobile friendly design. We'll talk more about it later on. As of today, there are 10,000 plus role-based applications that are created for different business area. For example, in a HR module, finance, manufacturing, procurement, sales, material management, and all that. And Fury apps work consistently crosswise over gadgets like desktop, tablet, and smartphones. And the last is Fury apps are developed using the UI5 interface and the old data service, which is a technical part of it. Now we'll discuss why we needed Fury app and what were the problems with the SAP ECC GUI traditional screen. So if you worked with SAP before or ECC before, then you might know about this screen that we use. If you're new to this one, then I will teach you the basics of the old screen. So you might have watched in the, my previous video about the uh, SAP GUI navigation. You, have, you can see this screen. So this is the only screen available at that time or still available for SAP ECC um, for creating a transaction, to run a report, to create a master data, etc. Now, the problem with this uh, screen is firstly, this is this can only be accessible by on a laptop or desktop. You can't ac access it on, um, on a mobile phone or on the uh, tablets. Then those screens were very complex. So you can see this is a screen for the purchase order screen. You can see it's very complex. Data is across all over the place. There are different tabs here you can see and each tab will contain so much data. And if, if a person is say is a, is a sales rep or a purchase rep or a customer service officer or an account receivable, so no matter the person is from different department of the company, 
everyone will be using or will see the same screen so that means there's no option to personalize it for example if the sales rep they want to see some specific fields only there's no option to hide all other fields same with the account receivable if they just want to see the finance data only they don't have any option they everyone will share the same screen and also the training is must for a new user so if somebody is joining a company who is using sap then as an end user they're joining and they never use sap before then they need to get training first how to use sap how to navigate into sap uh, whether they in the purchasing department they need to know that how we create a transaction purchasing order purchase requisition etc so training is must but whereas with the new interface which is a fury apps it's very user friendly it's just like when we use the application on our phone we don't need any training it's same like that you just navigate through it and you will learn it's yourself and it's very very user friendly so that's was all the reasons that uh, sap came up with an idea of the fury based applications <clears throat> now we'll talk about the fury design principles so there are basically uh, five design principles first one is a role based so each fury app is a role based for example it depends on the role for example if someone is working in the sales department then they will see different apps if someone is working as a sales manager they will have different apps someone working in hr or in material management area or finance area everyone will have a different app they will see which is assigned to their user profile this is called role based applications second is these applications are very responsive whether you use it on the pc or tablet or smartphone third is very simple it's very quick and and easy to use and user friendly fourth is it's very intuitive and consistent response across all platform no matter whether you access via smartphone or tablet the response is always same and the last one is delightful this provides a pleasing user experience Now we'll talk about uh, different types of Fury apps. So basically, we have three different types of Fury apps. Uh, one is transactional. Transactional is like, um, for example, we create different transaction. Can be purchase order, can be sales order, can be any finance transaction. Uh, it can be also a master data. So I'll show you in a minute. Then we have uh, fact sheets. Then we have analyticals. So let's talk about the transactional app. So these apps will provide us access to the transaction. For example, create or change any transaction. It can be a purchase order, it can be a sales order, or finance. Or it can also be in in other areas. For example, HR module, in production module, etc. Or you may be creating a master data. For example, a customer master data, business partner, supplier, uh, material master record, etc. So let me show you how the transactional apps look like. Okay, so here I am on the Fury app page. So here, um, for example, if I show you um, this um, drop down here, you can see, uh, for example, business partner master. For example, if I click on it, you will see some application called maintain business partner. If I click on it, you will see more detail, but I will not talk about more details now. I will discuss in the other videos later on. And also, for example, if I show you a transaction, layer, for example, um, a purchase order. Or here you can see, for example, there's one called supplier invoice processing. I can click on it. And here I can see the different applications linked to the supplier invoice. I can click on, say, for example, if I want to create a supplier invoice, I can click on it and I can create the supplier invoice. So this way, this is called, these are called the transactional app. I can also search any app from the top. For example, I'm looking for, uh, I can select from here, I can select app and then I can select, for example, supplier. So any app that has a text as supplier, they will show up here and you can click on any app and it will straight away jump to that app. So this is the transactional app. Next we have is the analytical apps. So this is basically a reporting app where you can see the different key figures um, across different area of the business. 
using these apps you can also drill down into the app and see the further details so let me show you this one as well in the system so here if i search for um, app uh, text called analysis you will see there are different applications shown here with the text analysis. So these are mainly the analytical apps. So I can click on this, there are total 13 apps. I can click on it. It will show me all 13 apps. So here, if I, for example, click on, um, uh, for example, goods movement analysis, and we have physical inventory analysis, depending what access you have, for example, if, if I'm working in a finance area, then I will see all apps when I search for analysis text I will see all apps linked to the finance area so at this moment I got access mainly to um, purchasing apps so that's why I can see most of the purchasing apps here so if I click on now the physical inventory analysis app so it will show you the it's a reporting app so here if I just click on go it will show me a report for example so you can see all the analysis so I can see for this plan, this is the book value, this is the difference value, and, and all other details. On left hand side, you can see all the available fields. For example, I can say, um, I want to add one of this field to my report on the right hand side. So what I can do, I can, I can click on, for example, this fiscal year. I can click on this little icon. I can add it to a row. Second icon is to add it to a column. So I'll click on the first icon fiscal year if I click on it you will see the changes here you can see the fiscal year is added so this these reports are very dynamic and uh, very user friendly so this is your analytical apps and the last type is the fact sheet apps so these apps are used basically for searching and exploring objects they are also used to navigate between the related objects for example if you want to search for uh, if you search in, in a window for a certain material then Fiori app for the material details will search the results so let me show you how it works okay so here let me select all first and let me remove this analysis now you can think it like a Google search and this drop down using this top drop down you can say in what area I want to search for example if I scroll down, if you need to search something in say purchasing area, then I can say, okay, I'll find the purchase orders, for example, this one purchase orders and within purchase orders, it's like a Google search. You do a Google search, it will give you all results. If I click on everything, if I click on search, it will search for everything. That means it's giving me a, a view of all the all the purchase order I can click on show more it will show me more you can see it found there are 4044 results so these are the results I can change the view for example this on the top right hand side you can see as a table as a list if I click on table it will change the view yep so this is the other view so it's a different view or if you know a purchase order number then you don't need to find that app and search for it you can come here and type the purchase order number for example if I search for a purchase order four five um, or let me randomly select a number if it works no there's one extra zero see this order number ending with 16 so it will straight away show you that object and I can click on it and it will open that purchase order so this you can call it a search or you can also call it like a quick uh, quick view to, to to get an object for example this this is one example I'll, I'll show you another example for example we I know we have a product in the system called sofa it's like a material master record we have created for sofa so if i select all and i want to search for sofa and press enter now it's doing search in every area in all objects because i selected all here it's searching in all different objects so it will show you for example uh, this is a business partner number search term here is sofa 
there's some other for example there's another app called stock availability there's a sofa material here and if I scroll down it will search for sofa everywhere in different objects but if I filter it for for example again I'll say I want to search purchase order where the sofa text is there so sofa can be a text sofa can be a material sofa can be anything can be a vendor name for example so if I select purchase order and I'll say within the object purchase order I want to search for sofa and I press on search button then it will show me not showing me there are only two orders so you can see here this one and this one if I open this order you will see so far somewhere in the in this purchase order see here you can see here there's a material use here so far so this is called fact sheet so fact sheet is like a, an, a search engine where you can search for any object across all objects or you can also filter for a specific objects now this is just an overview as we go in in depth into each of the topics within our course you will learn more about these application in details so that's about uh, this video so today we learned about what is fury what is what are the problems we have with ecc gui fury design principle and also different types of applications so that's all about this i will catch you in the next video thank you for watching